allergic energy is because they do not, I repeat, they do not drink enough water. This is like the biggest mistake. You gotta drink tons of it. And I start my day off with at least a liter of water along with my systemic enzymes. And then what I do after that is I take a probiotic. I take friendly bacteria into me because that is what the body needs in order to uh, you know, fend itself off versus different kinds of various bacteria that wants to attack it. So these are your friends. And I recommend you either A, brew your own um, or make your own fermented foods, which I go in depth in my book. Um, I suggest you start with something simple like kombucha. You can do it in your own home. It's very simple. And the benefits outweigh any time that it takes to make it. You'll have a couple gallons in as little, little as 14 days. And uh, you can use this every morning, drink about a cup, and drink it throughout the day. It's good for you, and it'll help save your life and keep you away from any type of sicknesses that you may encounter eating the wrong types of foods. Because we're not all perfect, and we don't all just eat fruits <laughs> or 30 bananas a day. We eat various amounts of food, different types. And in order for your body to be prepared and combat any type of disease that might come into it, you need to uh, build the right environment for it. And uh, by introducing good bacteria, you're doing yourself the best service ever. So I start my day off personally with about 16 to 8 ounces of kombucha that I either brew on my own. Uh, you, you can see all the videos that I've posted on YouTube. If you go to my YouTube channel, it's Raw Food Cook. Go to that channel and you'll see all my videos on kombucha making. I have like 10 different videos just on kombucha because I love it. So get yourself some uh, fermented foods and that's how I start my day. So within uh, a time frame now, within one minute to about 15 to 25 minutes, I drank one liter of water, um, had my systemic enzymes, and also had my... Uh, friendly bacteria introduced to my body. Now what I do, uh, after that, I go and make myself some food because breakfast is the most important meal of the day. And if you miss that, and if you miss that time frame, if you eat breakfast like two hours after you wake up, or even after an hour after you wake up, your body will not perform to its optimal uh, limit and you will not burn those unwanted fat calories and fat that you want to burn. If your goal, again, your goals are very important, and if your goal is to, you know, shut off excess body fat through a raw food diet, or um, you know, gain some more muscle while you're on a raw food diet, and shut off those excess fat pounds or fat cells, then you have to start fueling your body in the right method, starting early, so you could go throughout the day burning all that fat without you having to do much work. Remember, less is more. And I don't recommend you stress yourself out over strenuous workouts. You know, don't work out six times a day. Don't work out seven times a day. Less is more. And just by doing this one little shift in your diet routine, by eating breakfast an hour before, you know, an hour after you wake up and having your systemic enzymes and friendly bacteria, you would start building um, an environment where any type of fat that you come, in, come into play with that's not going to be used as fuel will never be stored and therefore your, your body will be more lean cut and you'll get to that percentage that you want to which is optimal so I'll leave you with that uh, have a great day go to my website rawnakedfood.com and get on the free newsletter uh, and get all this information for free I got cool newsletters that I send out that is not part of this whole video series and I'm happy to say that my second edition of my book is going to come out very soon uh, I'm thinking maybe February is a publishing date and release date. Um, so be on the lookout for that, and I will see you soon.